Hello, my name is RHL Kativ, and I'd like to take the next few minutes to talk to you about the evolution of the found footage genre of films. Found footage style of storytelling has been around for longer than you might think, and it's always been the source of a great deal of conflict by the public towards filmmakers that produce these types of films. Now, found footage concept of mock documentaries started in 1961 with a film called The Connection. It was uh, directed by Shirley Clark as an adaptation of Jack Gelber's play about uh, a group of musicians that were waiting for a drug connection while a documentary film crew uh, films the group's interactions while they were writing. Now, because of the drug content and profanity in the film, the New York Department of Education voted to bar the film from getting a license to show the film in that state. Which brings us to another very controversial film called Cannibal Holocaust. It was written by Gianfranco Slercy and directed by Ruggiero Diado. The premise was that the film crew would film the rescue attempts of a team that was sent into the Amazon rainforest to search for a missing film crew that was supposed to be filming customs of a cannibal tribe in that region. Now, viewers of this film were so horrified at the content, including murder, sexual assault, and violence towards animals, that it was banned in several countries and the director was arrested in Italy at the premiere of the film. Because of all the controversy surrounding this style of horror film, the concept didn't gain much popularity until the release of several movies in the late 1990s, including Alien Abduction, The Last Broadcast, and one of the most successful found footage films, The Blair Witch Project, which was produced by some students from Orlando University about a student documentary film crew that went to the Black Hills to track down the source of a local legend in that area. Now, like most found footage genre, uh, the Blair Witch Project was produced for an extremely small budget. The film cost about mm, $60,000 to make, but it grossed $248 million in the box office. Now, the success of this film launched the concept into the mainstream of cinema because the style was very inexpensive and because the audiences were entranced by the possibility that these films could be authentic. What the f*** was that? After the Blair Witch Project, well-known filmmakers became more and more creative with their ability to entrance their audiences into believing what could be possible. Films like Paranormal Activity by Oren Peely, Cloverfield by J.J. Abrams, The Last Exorcism by Daniel Stamm, and Chronicle by Josh Trank made their impact on the industry as a new formula for making profitable films for pennies on the dollar. Cloverfield and Paranormal Activity even spawned several sequels in their prospective franchises and made hundreds of millions in the box office despite their modest production budgets. And that's it guys, the history of the found footage film genre of film. I hope you guys... What are you... What are you doing in my house? Get the hell out! Get out!